What inspires change? What motivates us? It's what's inside that moves us. What moves you? Get the Scion story at scion.com. The U.S. Attorney's Office, the Attorney General's Office, and the Governor's Office are flinging accusations against each other in yet another round of vigorous debate over the environmental closure of the ORDOT dump. Several points of argument were made for and against the Governor's motion for a stay pending an appeal filed in the Ninth Circuit Court. The heaviest among them is centered around who the AG's office represents. While the AGO maintains that it represents the government of Guam to include the governor's office, Miller, the governor's chief legal counsel, says it does not. In fact, she asserts the AG is misleading the court to believe that it represents the government of Guam, quote, when it knew full well that the GSWA and the government are legally distinct and pursuing different interests. Here's a recap of the situation. The unkept ORDOT dump was polluting the environment, violating local and federal EPA regulations for decades. The federal government filed a lawsuit against GovGuam. The court ordered GovGuam to come into compliance, close the dump, and find another landfill, except it failed to do so. So in 2008, the district court appointed a federal receiver, Gershman, Brickner, and Bratton, to complete the requirements of the consent decree. The ORDOT dump was eventually closed, and waste is now sent to the Lazon landfill. The former owners of the Lazon property, however, filed suit in Superior Court and won the condemnation case. With interest, the government now owes these landowners close to $30 million. One of the landowners is Calvo's Insurance Enterprises, which is owned by Governor Eddie Calvo's family. Calvo recused himself from the case and appointed Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio to act on his behalf. And now, because the receivers refused to use Section 30 funds to pay the Lazom landowners, the governor's office has filed an emergency motion for stay, pending the outcome of an appeal it filed with the Ninth Circuit Court. The U.S. Attorney's Office, however, criticizes Lieutenant Governor Tenorio, saying the governor's office's arguments regarding public interest ring particularly hollow. Quote, these unfounded assertions reflect the calculated continuation of the governor's office's dilatory tactics in this case and are consistent with the lieutenant governor's statement that unless the receiver agreed to pay the condemnation away from the Section 30 bond proceeds, he would act to block the receiver's access to Section 30 funds. They also challenged Attorney Miller's assertion that a stay would only cause a slight delay, noting that it could take months or even years. Furthermore, a stay pending Ninth Circuit Court review would stop GBB from issuing a contract to close the dump. If it had to enter into another round of bids, cost estimates could go up because bidders already know what the receiver expects to pay.